Hello and Namaste, I'm Suresh Kunal and this is the video for mcqsales.com site. Today I'm here with the, the solution to computer operator practical sheets 75-04. I've created a PDF file, let me show you here. Open with the Fox reader. So this is the file. The set is solved. Question is given in black color. Correct answer is marked with the blue color. You can find the explanation to those questions in a green color. Okay, this is the file. And you can download this file from the MCQ set site. I will show you the link to download this file after some time. Please keep watching the video. You can type the address of websites uh, mcqsets.com and you can go directly to the list of posts by typing BLOZ at the end of the website address. Scroll down the page to find the correct post for the questions. Well, this is the question paper uh, for this practice sheet 75-04. And here are the questions. The first question, it was the key strokes control plus one is used in MS Word 2. Four options are given. A. ATLA size the selected text. B. Insert one blank line at cursor position. C. Set single line spacing to current paragraph. D. Open Format Sales dialog box. This question appears to intended to confuse you in between Control 1 and Control I. They look very similar. So the first option here is italicize the selected text, make the text italics. Well, Control I will perform this task, but Control 1 is not to itali make italic. So the correct answer of this question is to insert. Uh, a one blank line at cursor position no to insert a blank line we can press enter or shift enter by inserting the paragraph mark or first line break mark and the set single line spacing to current paragraph yes this is done by control one opening format cells dialog box is a different uh, task uh, control one yeah it can do it can open the format cells dialog box in Excel, but this question is related to MS Word, so option D is not correct. Okay, control one sets the single line spacing to your paragraph, to the current paragraph. Similarly, okay, let me show this. Open MS Word. Suppose I have some text over here. Let me insert the random text. Now, Put the cursor on the second paragraph or let me put it on the second last paragraph but all of them they have the three lines only okay second paragraph on second paragraph if you press control one the line spacing is single line spacing now control two it changes to the double line spacing and if you press control five it will change the line spacing to one and a half line so control one control two and control five these are the shortcut keys in MS Word to set the line spacing to single, double, and one and a half. So the correct answer of question number one is to set the single line spacing to current paragraph for the shortcut key control plus one. That's the correct one. Let's move towards question number two. To protect your LAN against computer hacker intrusions, you should apply. And we have got four options, firewall, antivirus, macro, and script. Okay, firewall is the correct answer for this question, but why this firewall is correct and others are incorrect? So, antivirus is a kind of software that looks, that monitors your computer for any malicious activities and it removes the viruses from your computer. The same is true for the networks also. It will monitor the network and try to find any malicious programs or malicious activities going on and try to remove those program codes uh, from network. So that's the task of antivirus. It doesn't look for the hackers or intrusions. 
Uh, macro is a kind of method to automate the repeating tasks by recording the actions and then you can play the, that recording afterwards uh, to perform the same task again and again. So macro is a different thing and it has nothing to do with the hacking and intrusions. Similarly, the script is a kind of file that stores the uh, commands sequentially. When you run that script, it will execute all of the commands inside it one after another. So this way you can make some tasks done automatically. You can uh, set some system tasks to be executed automatically when you run this script. So this is also a different thing and has nothing to do with the intrusions or hacking kind of things. So the firewall is the correct answer. Firewall is a computer a special device or a special type of software that checks the data packets and whether it is a legitimate packet or not whether it is authorized to enter inside the network or not it determines uh, the by looking at the nature looking at the source address destination address the contents this kind of thing uh, whether we have allowed this the port number that were targeted for uh, this packet or not so by looking on those different various kind of things uh, the firewall will determine will decide whether this packet should be allowed to enter into the network or it should be dropped right there it should be deleted right there so this way a firewall can be the effective means to protect your network against the computer hackers intrusions that's the correct answer option a uh, question number three when you copy an excel range and paste it into a word document which of the following is true the question says that we have some range in excel and we we copy that range and paste it here in the ms word with the link, what will happen? Option A, linked test will be deleted in Excel when you delete the file in Word, well, sorry, when you delete the object in Word, or any update in Excel range will be updated to the Word document automatically, or any update in Word document will automate uh, update the Excel range, or whether both A and B are true. Uh, let's see, Windows run, Excel, let me start this application and here's a short data like the serial number item quantity rate and amount let me say serial number one item some book 25 pieces rate was 138 rupees for each equals to we have to multiply the quantity and rate to calculate the amount number two copy some copies or some exercise books uh, we were going to buy the 100 pieces which cost 25 rupees per each and we can fill down control d to copy the same formula down cell let me uh, okay this much and shall we format it maximize the excel go to the borders and apply all or all borders and also let me select the heading change its fill color to some faint blue color okay so this was the shell uh, this was the range we need to copy press ctrl c or click on copy button it is copied now I'll go to the word and here after this first paragraph let me insert here now we need to paste it with link so to paste with link should go to the paste button and choose paste special on the paste special we have got a got an option here paste link the thing is excel worksheet object okay click click on the okay so that thing that object will that range will be placed uh, pasted here in MS Word also. The same thing is here. Now, when we make any change on this Excel sheet, for example, quantity of books were 125, 100 to 5. Now, when we change the quantity, the amount also will be changed, and the range will be updated. Is this update reflected automatically here in Word? I have done nothing in Word, but you can see 
quantity is 125 and amount is updated accordingly so when any changes any update in actual range will update to the word document also so this option b is correct for this question number three you cannot make any changes in ms word for this either you need to double click the object it will take you to the excel directly or you cannot do any other formatting for this object here in ms word so option c is not valid uh, option a linked text will be deleted in excel when you delete in word like if this is the linked object linked text and i deleted it from word it will not delete in excel in excel it's still there no problem so option a is also not correct uh, for this uh, question so the b is the correct answer now let's proceed towards question number four to insert a drop cap in a paragraph you should access insert tab in text group or design tab in drop cap group or home tab in paragraph group or none of above the correct answer is insert tab in text group this is the only correct answer let me show you it in ms word if you need to insert the drop cap in ms word you should go to the insert ribbon and on the text group here is the text group and on the text group you should open the drop cap to apply drop cap the cursor should be somewhere inside the paragraph for example here is the cursor then we have got drop cap uh, option enabled and here we have got the presets for the drop cap let me apply this one okay this way you can apply the drop cap that means the drop cap option now in ms word is in insert ribbon insert tab uh, in the text group with the drop cap button okay that's all for the question number four now let's move towards question number five enter one in a cell it's a question about excel insert one in a cell okay i inserted one in a cell d12 and grab the fill handle the fill handle is this little square box at the bottom right corner of the cell pointer so this one and drag it cell 10 cells down so from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay drag them 10 cells down what will be the value of the uh, last cell in the range obviously it is one only so the correct answer is option d one when you drag with the fill handle if you have selected like one and two is there you selected two cells cell with one and two and then you drag the fill handle this will create a series the last cell it will be 10 but when you select only one cell and drag it down it will produce this it will repeat the same number for all the cells that are going to be filled down uh, you write here one and write here five select those two numbers and then drag them down will cause to produce the numbers that are in difference like the difference between this one and five was four four steps increased to reach up to nine similarly four steps increased to reach up to nine similar another four so the difference between each of these numbers will be four that means excel will create a series when you select two cells and drag them down but when selecting only one cell and dragging it down will repeat the same number for all the cells so the correct answer of question number five is option d now question number six the date value in excel for first january 1990 is the correct answer is one the excel started to count its date from 1990 january 1 january 1st so the date value for that date is one and the next day the date value is two another day date value is three so this way excel goes on counting the dates with date value like here when you uh, type a date something like the second uh, march 2018 this value okay this is entered as the text not as the date i let me write it this way 2 march 05 sorry 03 and 2018 it is entered as a date and when i change this value to the general format control one to open the format sales dialog box and change back to the general look at here that date in fact is entered as a number 
43,134. So this is the date value for that particular date. And this value is counted from the 1st January 1990. Every day after this date is counted as one increased. So the 1st January 1990 is one. Option A is the correct answer for question number six. Now let's go to question number seven. In MS Access, to refresh the contents of a lookup field in list box or combo box, press F4 key or F9 or down arrow or page down. Okay, this is a very obvious question. F9 key updates. Well, it's in the actual also, it's in the access also. Even in MS Word, whenever you need to update the values, you can press F9. So this function also works for the uh, drop down lists or combo boxes of lookup fields. You can refresh it by pressing F9. Question number eight. How many pair of wires are packed in CAT6 STP cable? So cat category six uh, shielded twister pair cable contains four pair of wires inside it with different color coded. Let me show you. Uh, STP CAT6 cable. Let us see some images. It'll make you clear. Like this is the STP cable of category six. Open it in a, open the image in new tab so that I can show you the image only. See, blue and half blue, two wires are here. And the brown and half brown, orange and half orange, green and half green. So one, two, three, four. Four pairs of wires are twisted with each other to create this uh, shoulder twisted pair cable. In case of STP, we have got the silver foil also. And in case of UTP, unshielded twister pair, we do not have this shield. So this shield uh, works as uh, an effective means to reduce the electromagnetic interference that can disturb the data traveling inside the cable. So this is a shield of STP and we have got four pairs, total eight wires are there. So the correct answer of question number eight is four pairs of wires. In question number nine, a uh, presentation was interrupted on slide 25. What key will you press to resume from slide 26? Uh, in fact, it had to be slide 25. Any, anyway, uh, what it means is a, pr a presentation in PowerPoint was going on. You stopped it somewhere in, in middle, in the middle, in, in slide number 25. There were some more slides to run in the presentation, but you stopped it there. Now you want to resume from the same slide again or you want to resume your presentation, what you should press. The options given are F5, Shift F5, Alt F5, and Control F5. Okay, as you know, F5 starts a show in PowerPoint. PowerPoint presentation show can be started with the F5 key. But if it is stopped somewhere and you need to resume it, you must press Shift plus F5. So this key will resume your presentation. And the correct answer of question number nine is option B. Finally, we have got the last question here, question number 10. Which of the following DOS command lists the hidden file? In DOS, we can change the file attributes or the file properties. As we say in Windows file properties, and the DOS calls it as uh, file attributes. Those attributes can be displayed by using the attrib command. And you can make the file hidden by writing attrib plus h and then file name that will hide the file or that will add the hidden attribute to that file. Uh, dir dot dot is a command to list the content of the specified, specified directory here is dot dot that means the parent directory. So it will list the content, the files and directories, files and subdirectories of parent directory. And option B, we have got dir slash ah dir command to list the content of the of the current location the uh, list the files and directories and the switch here we have used is slash ah and ah stands for attribute hidden so this command will list the files and directories which have hidden attribute so it will display the hidden files so correct answer of question number 10 is option b okay these were the 10 questions on this set Jarofo, MCQ practice sheet 75-Jarofo. Uh,
you have got some links down here to visit other sheets of this series or download the PDF files. Okay, so up to the PDF files, you can find link here. Now, if you want the PDF file of the solution, of this particular solution, that is the general foe, we have got this file. I've uploaded this file in my web's website and to download that file, all you need to do is open your browser, go to the address bar and there type the name of website mcqsets.com slash then you type s-o-l-u-t-i-o-n solution solution dash 75 dash jerofo this is the name of our uh, sheet practice sheet so type mcqsets.com slash solution dash 75 dash jerofo and then press enter so this will take you to the original download link and this will open the PDF file on your browser. Like here, you can get the file directly from internet. So all those 10 questions are answered here and explained. And if you want to store this file somewhere in your uh, computers in some specific folder, then you can go to the download button to get this file copied to your computer so it's very easy hope this was useful and all the best for your exam that's approaching very near wish you best of luck and hope to see you again after you succeed in the written exam we'll be talking again about the practical questions and how to perform different tasks in the uh, applications uh, software packages that are prescribed in PSC syllabus Okay, in this context, I want to clarify a few more things also. Okay, before ending this video, I'd like to respond to a few uh, messages I got. Uh, LB asked me a question. I tried with the three different email IDs and I couldn't attempt mock-up exams. So how to do it? Let me show you how to log into MCQ sets and attempt mock-up exams. For that, open your browser window. Let me switch the browser window to some because here on this window i've already logged in so i opened a guest window and mcqsets.com type the address of the mcqsets website so when you go here you cannot see the login button is it here anywhere i had to put one link to login on this page also but it's not here anyway go to the home on the landing page click the home button go to your home and down here you can see the buttons the facebook button google button twitter button and yahoo button if you have account in any one of them you can log into mcq sets directly from them like you click on the facebook button it will open a pop-up window asking you to log into the facebook okay when you log into mc sorry when you log into facebook you will log in to the MCQ set site also. Once you log in, you can go to the mockup and then choose any of the mockup uh, set to practice. The time is 45, so start your exam. Here are your questions. You can go on answering them and click on submit button at the end when you answer all these questions. So this way, first of all, log into MCQ sets using your Facebook or Google or Yahoo account and then you can attempt this question. Anil Yadav has asked, Unicode standard is a software, B font, C character encoding system, and D keyboard layout. Okay, Anil G, Unicode standard uh, is the character encoding system. Uh, it contains the keyboard layouts, it contains the font in itself, but uh, Unicode standard is a character encoding system. It's not just the keyboard layout, and it is not just another font. Okay, those were some queries I got in my messenger right now. We will meet again in another video. For now, bye-bye.